Hello everyone and welcome to One Man Stream. My name is Tim and welcome to the long-awaited episode two uh, in this series. And I do apologize, I'm currently totally redoing uh, my studio here at home. But, uh, uh, I wanted to go ahead and put out the second uh, episode and I'm also working on the third episode as we do this. Uh, basically in the first episode all we did was cover uh, how to download the software and uh, install it and then connect it to your vMix uh, uh, vMix production. In this video we're going to start with some of the building blocks of UTC. I'm going to show you how to create a button and how to put an overlay in that button and then how to cancel uh, that overlay. Also I'm going to introduce something called NDI Monitor. When we downloaded the original vMix UTC software uh, there's a couple files that go along with it and I kind of showed it in the video uh, but I didn't really speak to that point and there's one that's NDI monitor that we're going to need in order to do what we're going to do today in the second part of this video uh, with NDI monitor and I'll show you how we're going to do that so so stay tuned uh, it's going to be a pretty quick tutorial but it's going to be a fun tutorial and then the next tutorial we're really going to dive in uh, to what vMix UTC is all about I'm pretty much going to dissect the um, uh, setup that I use uh, when we go out and do our boxing promotions and you may say I have no interest in boxing and we don't do boxing but there's going to be a lot of automation there's going to be a lot of information uh, that's going to relate to whatever production you're doing whatever sports production you're doing whether it's basketball football baseball volleyball hockey uh, all the automation will will be pretty much the same so I think you'll find it uh, find it very informative okay the building blocks of uh, vmix UTC are the wedge widgets and uh, you can see the list there the one we're going to talk about today is the button widget. Uh, but first we're going to go ahead and do a label. And a label is a way that I segregate the different portions uh, of my vMix UTC layout. And we'll just call this one graphics. And the drop down menu will allow you to change the color. And you can drag it and make it as whatever size you like. And you can move it to wherever you'd like. Now we're going to create the button. And the button is uh, probably the most used widget uh, with vMix UTC. It allows me to do a lot of uh, different things. It allows me to operate my overlays for one. And we're going to title this one Small Bug. And we're going to go ahead and tick these boxes here next to Execute and Reset. And then we're going to, in the link box, and we're going to give it a name. We're going to call this one Show Bug. And in the Reset one, we're going to tick it and we're going to call this one hide bug and this will be very important in our next uh, episode when we do the automation process and then we can click it uh, as state dependent and then whenever we activate it uh, we'll have a little light that will come on to show us that it is indeed uh, showing in our production uh, any shortcut that's in vmix is also in vmix utc and you just got to scan through the list for what you want the one we're looking for is overview input x and x refers to your input and then you select the input you want and then the overlay channel one two three or four and in this case it's overlay channel three and this is when we're going to dive into NDI monitor and the reason I'm doing this now is it allows you to see uh, what we're doing in the main in the main vMix production uh, we'll just entitle this NDI monitor and we're gonna have to uh, attach a file to it where it says file path to show it where this uh, file is it's a DLL file and if you remember uh, when we originally downloaded vMix UTC from the, web, uh, from the uh, forum website, I'll just kind of refresh your memory here. And then we clicked on Univer Universal Title Controller. And you can see that there's a couple files there, NDI Monitor Data Provider for UTC, uh, the arrow indicates where those are at. You want to download the older one of that, that seems to be a little bit more stable and that's the one that I use. You'll need to click on the file folder there as it's indicated and then direct vMix UTC to the DLL file you just downloaded for NDI Monitor. 
In the NDI monitor button that we just created, we'll go and click the drop down menu. Any NDI outputs will be reflected there, and we're going to choose output 1, which is the program output that's in our main vMix production. And it's showing you what's in program right now. It's the small bug is actually in the lower right hand corner, and that's in program. Uh, so I'm going to click over to the other computer and get, just get rid of that. Just uh, shut that overlay off. And then now when we click the button we just made, that overlay is going to come in. So how do we get rid of the overlay? Well, we could uh, actually uh, make another button, and that's what we're going to do. And it's just going to clear the entire overlay channel and not just, uh, not just that input. So we're creating another button. We're going to make it state dependent. Then under command, we're going to go and look for the overlay commands again. Instead of this one, uh, overlay in, uh, input x in, this is going to be overlay input x out. And we're not, we don't have to choose a specific input. We're just going to clear that whole overlay channel. And we know that uh, that uh, small bug is on uh, channel 3. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of channel 3. We'll resize. Uh, the button we just made and when we click on it the small bug does go away go up to the top click the show bug and it shows back up thanks again for watching if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you know when new videos are posted